Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. Have you ever been playing on casual and just thought, this is too easy, I wish it was harder? Or have you ever decided to make a hard mode world and just thought, this is too much, I need to go back to a standard world, but you don't want to make a new world? Well, I've got a solution for you. I've figured out how to change your world from casual to standard to hard. I've also figured out how to change your world from standard to creative and back to standard. So if you have ever wanted to take a normal ordinary world, switch it into creative mode, do all the creative mode stuff and then move it back into a standard world, or if you've ever wanted to change your difficulty, this is the video for you. Now, just a word of advice real quick. This only works on PC as far as I know, because you need to have access to the internal file structure. Now, if you are on console and you know how to access the internal file structure on your console, then feel free to experiment with this on console, but I can't guarantee that it's going to work. Now, changing these settings works exactly the same for a classic world as well as a modern world. Oh, and, uh, Back up your files before you make any changes. It is not my fault if you brick your world. So first you're going to need to open up your Explorer and you are going to need to navigate to where your world files are stored. The link to that is right here on the screen. Just make adjustments for the uh, Steam. If you're not using Steam, it's not gonna say that. It'll say something else, you know, like Game Pass or Epic or whatever you're using and then afterwards the number will be unique as well. Once you're in the folder, you're looking for the world infos folder. You're gonna open up that and now we have got our list of worlds here. But which world is the world that we need to deal with? Note that these start at zero and go up from there. But what does that mean? If you go to the world section of your game, you'll notice that each world is numbered and those are the numbers that are going to help us in this situation. So here I've got three worlds, a casual world, a normal world, and a hard mode world. They're numbered 15, 16, and 17. Now, because the numbers start with zero in the world files, that means that these numbers on the left are going to be one smaller for their corresponding world. So casual world here is file 14, normal world is file 15, hard mode world is file 16. So you were looking for the world info file. You're going to want to edit that in Notepad. That works very easily. And here you'll see that we have got a bunch of random text. Well, what matters is this section right here that says mode. There are four different modes for the game files. Zero is a standard world. One is a hard mode world. Two is a creative world. And four is a casual world. Now, what is three? Three is not implemented in the game. Three is a hard mode creative world. And you could change your game mode to three, but you don't need to, it doesn't do anything. So if I wanna take my casual mode world and turn it into a hard mode world, I just change this four into a one, and then I save it. Now, when I log back into my world here, you will see that this casual world is now a hard world. But what if I want to turn one of my normal worlds into a creative mode world? That is not a problem. All you got to do again is go to mode here and change the number to a two. Save the file, reload the game, and now my casual world is a creative world. If I try to load up the world, I now only have access to my creative characters. But most importantly, I now have essentially a standard world with creative control. And once I'm done editing the world how I see fit in creative mode, just log out of the game, go back to your world mode, change it back to the mode that you wanted before, save it, and reload Core Keeper. See, the world is now back to a casual world, and if I go to it, I have access to my regular mode characters once again. Now, some of you may be asking, can you use this to change your world from a modern world type to a classic world type? Short answer is no. The long answer is yes, but it doesn't work. 
right here is world generation type on the file and a zero means classic world and a one means a normal world. However, there are other checks and balances in the game. And if you try to take a modern world with a one, turn it into a zero and log in, you're still gonna get a modern world. So I will change this to zero, save it. And now you can see the world is supposedly a classic world. If I try to enter the world, I will get the classic world notification. Right here, you can see that. But if I actually explore to the edge of the world, I'm not going to have infinite biomes. So you can see on my map, I've just run all the way to the far edge and you can get kind of a view. We can tell I'm in the passage here. I'm blinking the way I am because I have a no clip mod running so I could just move through walls. And this right here is the edge of the map. This is the obsidian wall. And if I go through it, nothing happens. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not generating any new terrain. Uh, nothing's really happening. I'm just in the darkness. So to sum it all up, you really cannot change your world from a classic world to a modern world or from a modern world to a classic world. It doesn't really work. But if you want to change your world from casual to standard to hard mode or any of the others in between, you can do that. And if you want to change your world from a standard world to a creative world and back to a standard world, then you can also do that. You just got to be able to change your world files. So I'm sorry for all of you console players if you can't do that. I don't know how to change files for console games. I don't even know if it's possible. I think that depends on the console. So if you can, leave a comment. Let me know if uh, it's doable on your console or not. Otherwise, this is really just for PC users. And there you have it, folks. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button to help give the video a little bit of a boost. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my regularly released content. But we have more. If you want to support the channel a little extra, you can become a channel member to get exclusive membership benefits like early access to my videos, exclusive members only content, a members only discord community and more. So thank you all to my current and future supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you all for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay crazy, my friends. Oh yeah, by the way, we've got a merch store now. So, you know, be sure to check it out. And if there's something you would like to see but you don't see on the store, send me a DM in um, Discord and let me know and I'll see if I can add the product. Stay crazy.